squeaky wheel gets the grease. The idiom, squeaky wheel gets the grease, is a common phrase used to express the idea that the person who complains or makes the most noise is the one who receives attention or assistance. It suggests that those who speak up and make their needs or concerns known are more likely to get what they want. This idiom is often used to highlight the importance of advocating for oneself or being proactive in seeking help or attention. It implies that if you remain silent and passive, your needs may be overlooked or ignored. Here are a few examples to illustrate the usage of this idiom. 1. Imagine you are working in a busy office, and your colleague has been consistently receiving promotions and raises while you have not. Instead of staying quiet and hoping for things to change, you decide to speak up and request a meeting with your supervisor. By expressing your desire for growth and discussing your achievements, you are applying the concept of squeaky wheel gets the grease to increase your chances of being considered for future opportunities. 2. Let's say you are dining at a restaurant and you notice that the service is extremely slow. Rather than patiently waiting and accepting the delay, you decide to politely speak to the manager about the issue. By being the squeaky wheel in this situation, you are more likely to receive prompt attention and a resolution to the problem. 3. In a school setting, if a student feels they are not receiving enough attention or support from their teacher, they may need to be the squeaky wheel by actively participating in class, asking questions, and seeking extra help. By doing so, they are more likely to receive the necessary assistance and guidance. Overall, the idiom, squeaky wheel gets the grease, emphasizes the importance of speaking up and making your concerns or needs known in order to receive attention or assistance. It encourages individuals to be proactive in advocating for themselves and not passively accept a situation where their needs are not being met.